baby Sarah remained in intensive care. Every day they prayed healing scriptures over their little girl. I would just sit there repeatedly declaring them, Lord, I just thank you that Sarah's going to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. A week later, Sarah took a turn for the worse. She did start to develop multi-organ system failure. Um, her, de her condition deteriorated significantly. She, was, she ultimately had signs of liver failure, heart failure, and her meningitis. Adding together meningitis, hepatitis, and myocarditis, probably a 95% mortality in, in a newborn baby having all three of these organs involved with this infection. Doctors told Jose and Svetlana that baby Sarah had one hour to live. And it was during that time a nurse came and told us that her pH level was 6.6, .6, which basically, from what I understand, means the body is clinically considered dead. And we just didn't want to accept that fact. We began to take authority over the spirit of death, the spirit that was trying to attack her heart of death, her liver, her acidity level, her every, every part of her body. We began to speak the word of God. Friends and family members interceded for Sarah's healing. In just one hour, her condition began to improve. A nurse comes in again, and she just stops and says, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing what you're doing because your baby's pH level just normalized textbook. Hallelujah normal perfect Hallelujah. and we just we rejoiced yes. we rejoiced and we thank god test revealed sarah's heart was responding to medication and all of her vitals were improving less than a week after sarah was given one hour to live she came home from the hospital completely well we got to take her home and that she's healthy that she's alive that she just walked through this and that she's a miracle that God literally rose her from the dead. We realized that, and we just couldn't stop thanking the Lord for that. Specialists say that Sarah's sight, hearing, and brain functions are all above average. In fact, her heart looks like nothing was ever wrong with it. Dr. Anderson is amazed at how healthy Sarah is. It is like a miracle that she looks as good and as healthy and strong as she is today, knowing what she had as a newborn. <laughs> it's a combination of medicine and faith that, that it brings Sarah to appear the way she does today. Today, Sarah is four years old, and it's doing just great. How do you this much? She is the, the bubbliest, happiest, joyful girl and Jose and I we always say she has a reason to be joyful God gave us medicine and God gave us prayer and faith in him God is real God still works miracles today what an amazing story oh, beautiful little girl yeah. that's the thing you Precious. know God saw that little yeah. child and all they saw was a you know near dead baby but they kept holding on and and the mom too you yeah. know that God Oh, man. God responds to our prayers. He I have something.